Hi everyone, I'm doing a review today on the Harbor Freight Digital Micrometer. It's what we have right here. Let's open the box up and see what we got. So, just looking at it initially, it's actually pretty nice. Um, this feels like uh, iron. It has a decent amount of weight to it. Um, the plastic wrapped around here, not the greatest feel. If it was aluminum, yeah, it'd be nicer, be a little heavier. But for like 30 bucks, you really can't complain too much. The, uh, this is the adjuster right here. One thing about this digital uh, micrometer is that it kind of takes a while to open and close the anvils, as you can see here. And I'm going full speed with it. And then to close them up. So it does take a while. If you're measuring a few parts or the parts are really close in size, not an issue. If you had to measure dozens or hundreds of parts different sizes, this would be a pain. Okay? Now, I'm going to turn this on. The display is flashing. That means the battery is dead. Now, this isn't brand new. I've actually used this a bunch. So, I'm going to show how to replace the battery. Now, they included a battery in the package. An extra spare battery so that's what we'll use we'll use the one that they give us so this is the supply tool to open up the back and that's it we put the cap back on and and that's all it takes to change the battery. And now we're in good working shape. So before we actually test the accuracy, I want to clean the anvils off to make sure there's no dust or grease or anything on there. I, forgot, I have no idea what I was using this on before. Last when I put it away. Uh, one thing to say about the anvils, they are tungsten carbide anvils. They are mirror polished. I don't know if you guys can see it. And they do fit together really nicely. So let me zero out. Let me zero out the gauge. Okay, we're going to switch this to inches. Now what I like to do is I like to open and close it two or three times to make sure that it is consistently reading zero. Now what I have here is a X-Class gauge pin from Vermont Gauge. So we're going to use this to actually check how accurate this digital micrometer is. So I have this with a little light rub of oil stored in the box so that no surface rust or oxidation happens. This gauge pin is 0 .6200 plus. And this is an X-Class gauge pin from Vermont Gauge, made in America. All right, so we're going to open the micrometer up a little bit more than 0.62. We're going to use the... So now the ratchet that actually uh, provides the consistent tension is in the large barrel, not the small one on this... Uh, micrometer so right now we're reading 0 0.62005 0 0.26005 so we're reading dead on dead on I'm gonna flip the gauge plug over and I'll do the other side just to see what we're getting. We're getting 0 0.62005. So this is actually reading dead on. 
it's accurate to four decimal places. For 30 bucks, I don't know how much better you can get. Now, I'm sure it's not as nice as the higher end Mitsutoyos and such. But again, those are going to cost you four or five times the price. Now, if I was a machinist for a living and I was using this, like I said, dozens of times per day, I wouldn't have bought a cheaper model like this. I would have gotten a much higher end uh, model that I know I can rely on for years to come. But I only use this occasionally. And when I need it, I need it. And I know, based on verifying it with the gauge pin, that it's accurate. It's accurate. It's dead on. And we're going to bring this back to zero. And we're going to see if it goes back to zero. Uh, well, almost. We are one-tenth. Actually, no, we're less than one-tenth. We're back to zero. The thing with really precise measurements, if I touch this, if it warms up a little bit too much, if there's a little piece of dust on the anvil, when you're dealing with stuff that's less than a tenth of a thousand, there's a little speck of dust could actually throw it off. So you know what? Let me just double check this. By running the anvils over the paper towel just to clean them up we're getting zeros we're getting zeros in four decimal places that's uh, good enough for me well I hope you enjoyed the review and if you like uh, if you like these reviews Leave some comments. Uh, I'll make more reviews on a whole bunch of tools that I have. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.